بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل ایز یو نو گائز وی آر لرننگ ٹرانسفارمیشن آف دا شیپس ان اور گرافک سیریز رائٹ سو ان ٹوڈیز ویڈیو لیکچر وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈرا اے لائن اینڈ دین وی ول روٹیٹ اٹ فرام اٹس اوریجن فرام دا اوریجن آف دا لائن اینڈ وی ول روٹیٹ اٹ الانگ اٹس ایکس ایکسیز اینڈ وائی ایکسیز just like a, a needle of the clock right so it will it will rotate in a circle so this uh, this type of transformation uh, transformation is the last topic of our transformation and it is, it is rotation now these are the parameters for our line and first we will draw a line so you can see it how we can rotate it from its origin right so let me compile and run it first so you can see the line actually it is a vertical line and we will rotate it around its origin so this is our line this is its origin and we will rotate it from here from this point to uh, in a circle just like a clock right so for rotation you know that uh, for every type of rotation we want an angle so we can rotate it on the angles right so let me define a variable over here uh, angle is equal to 0 and because we want to Uh, increase the angle of um, angle after every uh, a time after every chunk of time so we want to an for loop and we want to display it circular because as you know a circle has angle of 360 degree mm. and then in sir and for loop we will first clear our device so on every iteration we don't want to see the previous line right so angle will be i mm, because we are increasing our angle by 1 degree on every iteration and then i want an angle which is theta as you know theta is for angle and i want also to convert into double an angle and we will use a built in method of pi as you know if you want to get the angle in the radian then we want pi by 180 into angle it will return us a angle in radian right <coughs> so on every iteration these points x2 and y2 are changing so for gaining the new point on 2d graph you know that the formula is x prime is equal to x cos theta minus sin theta and for y y sin theta plus cos theta this is the formula so uh, i am going to change x point x2 and y2 point on every angle then that's why i am getting a new variable over here so i can store the new position in this variable right you can say it x3 or uh, anything else you want to say it and i want to convert it to int and then our formula because we are changing x2 and y2 with the reference of x1 and y1 so we want we have to add it in our formula x1 cos theta into x2 
minus x1 and then minus sin theta into y2 minus y1 this is because we are changing it with the uh, we are getting a new point with the reference of these one x2 and y2 and we don't want our line to be disturbed from its origin that's why we are adding it in the start of our new angle right so that was x3 and y3 will be same just we have to change it from x1 to y1 and this will be sin theta and this will plus cos theta right the rest will be the same so after changing the positions we will draw a line line and x1 and y1 will remain the same in whole of the rotation and x3 and y3 this will change in every rotation so that's why we don't have to put here x2 and y2 because it will give us the continue continually the same position and we are changing x2 and y2 over here right so after this i want to give it delay of uh, 50 millisecond so after every 50 millisecond we will see the new shape let me compile and run it and here you can see our line is rotating around its origin this is our origin this is x2 and y2 which is continuously changing and it is x3 and y3 because x2 and y2 was here at its original position so if you are smart enough then you can also make an analog log with this formula with your own time right so this was our today's lecture lecture number 12 and we are heading toward our uh, end of the course and in next lecture we will see how we can rotate a line from its center position right until next video allah hafiz